Hey guys, in this video we'll uh, quickly, quickly talk about how Zoom Admin helps with configuration of your servers um, and, and we'll show you some of the features Zoom Admin has when it comes to config, configuring your servers. Now, configuration it has different meanings in terms of what you want to configure. Uh, so first thing when you get a server, you want to configure what, you know, depending on what you want to use it for, you, you would need different types of server software. Let's say, in the, for example, let's say you want to install WordPress on it. Uh, WordPress, for, for WordPress to work, you would need to install all kinds of things, right? Let's say, for example, MySQL, PHP, Apache, you might have heard of before. These are different software packages that you, you need to install on the server to be able to then install WordPress and use it. Um, now, the way Zoom Admin helps with that uh, is a couple ways. First, when you just connect a new server and choose a default template from here, like the default selection, uh, it will not install all, all kinds of things for you. Then you can go into the server, you, you may have to do it manually. And when I say manually, it, it's really a couple of clicks, right? So you go into the catalog and you just choose whatever you want to install from our catalog and we do have large selection and it's going to keep growing um, as well as available software and then and then you can just install stuff with just clicking into the specific uh, package you want to install and it will show you the dependencies this is not a key feature uh, that uh, a lot of people don't tell you is that some some of the software packages they have dependencies for things to work Let's say WordPress, if you want to install WordPress, it has the dependency with Apache, um, MySQL, PHP. In this case, Apache has dependency with PHP and to kind of make it work, we kind of show you these dependencies and if it's not installed, you'll be able to click and install it from here as well. It will actually not let you install it until the dependencies are installed. So that's one way to uh, install and also some of the different packages like MySQL, when you try to install it, you'll, you'll have more options here. It'll ask you what the password you want to use, all the other details you can just choose from here before installing, right? So that's how it helps with configuration. You don't, you know, unlike the tutorials that you follow online, there's a long list of things that you need to do. All that stuff is taken care of for you. So including setting passwords, all those things, you can just do it directly from here. We'll give you those options if there's a need for it, okay? Uh, now, the second way to do it is when you connect a new machine, you can choose a template. Let's say, in this case, I'm choosing a WordPress template. And what that's gonna do is that it's gonna automatically install all the different packages so that WordPress will work. Like like how we saw that you need to manually install different things if you choose a template it will just do it for you that's all it does it pretty much will go into the catalog and install different things that it needs for a specific uh, software so there's a couple ways that, so that those are the couple ways that it, it helps with configuration now there's a second level right so that's actually just the server software if you go one level down let's say Apache, right? Once you install Apache, you actually need to manage websites, right? And uh, Apache is a web server, those of you who don't know, that's how actually you create multiple websites on the server. Uh, but just installing Apache is not enough, right? To be able to run multiple websites on it, you actually need to know, to know how to configure Apache, how to create different host, hosts online. You know, there's probably tutorials online, but each time there's a change, you actually have to log into the server and go find those configuration files and change them and and then when you try install ssl certificates it's also another you know, big effort so all those things are taken care of for you with zoom admin so we don't just install the software we take it a step further and in some cases like apache to allow you to create websites to do all that management inside zoom admin for example another example is uh, mysql like just installing mysql is not enough, right? You actually want to be able to create websites, I mean, uh, databases. And same thing here, we can come here and create databases, create users, manage them, things like that. And I'll show you those demos uh, in, inside the MySQL specific videos. If you have not seen those, you can go watch them in our YouTube channel or on our site, zoomadmin.com. Just click, click on features and find those MySQL videos. Um, 
Same thing goes for WordPress installing on different websites. Again, uh, I'll cover those in the WordPress specific videos, but those are the couple of ways uh, that uh, Zoom Admin helps with configuration of the different software and also takes it a step further to allow you to actually configure different things inside that software, whether it's creating database, manage, managing database, or in the case of Apache, it'll allow you to create and manage websites. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Michael Peltan and I'm the founder of Zoom Admin. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me personally, michael at zoomadmin.com. Thank you for watching. To continue watching, click on one of the following videos and click the ZA icon in the middle to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us with YouTube algorithm. And comment below if you have any questions or you can also email me directly, michael at zoomadmin.com. Thanks again.